Hey, what's up everybody? This is Sep the Loeb, and I'm back with another Flatsome Team tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how to create this nice text sticker. I will zoom in a little bit so you can see it more clearly. And it's um, a nice effect to show multiple lines of text because you don't have a lot of space. And especially with shops, you want to show all your benefits like free shipping, next day delivery, hassle-free returns, and all these kind of promotions. Um, and I said you don't have a lot of space, but I mean... Uh, you don't have a lot of space on mobile and sometimes you also want to place different things in your uh, top bar so as you can see it's also working nicely on mobile um, as you all know I'm more like a designer so I got a little bit of help with this script um, from Bjorn if you don't know Bjorn, Bjorn Partje just, and you're not a, if you're a member of the Flatsome member community then you probably know him because if you just search on his name for example I can just go through the all the Facebook posts and you can see he's kind of a Facebook support desk on its own. He's really great in supporting the community. And he has a website called FX Expert where you can find a lot of nice tutorials and scripts. And one of those uh, is creating this kind of text effect. So thank you again, Bjorn. And uh, I've created this in one of our projects. And now I'm going to quickly show, the, show you this in one of our video tutorials. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, you need to go to the description below and that um, there you can find the tutorial link that will take you to the uh, tutorial page uh, where you can find three easy steps. Uh, we need to place the JavaScript, the CSS and the HTML. I'm going to place this in one of our Flatsome templates. Um, I'm going to place it today in Moi. It's one of our minimal templates. We are creating pre-made designs for your Flatsome projects. And here you can uh, see that our template at the moment is having a top bar, but it doesn't have that uh, slider or that uh, fade in, fade out effect. So what I need to do to make this happen is first place the JavaScript. I will already click the copy button here. Here we go. And then going back to my project, clicking on WordPress, that will take me to the backend. Going to Flatsome, if you don't really see it, Flatsome Advanced. Here we go. And then you need to go to uh, global settings and then to the footer scripts. And this is a different script, so I will place it above. And then you don't really need to know what it's all about. I don't really read JavaScript. So the only thing that I can say is probably if you work, play around with these, um, these numbers, you can change the transition speed. So you can play around a little bit with the fade in and the fade out effect of uh, the duration, uh, duration of it. Uh, but that's step one, scrolling all the way down, clicking on save all changes. Then we can go to step two, placing the CSS. And it's just one line of CSS code. So we'll, I will copy. And there are multiple ways to place the CSS. Uh, but I will now, for to make things easy, go to the custom CSS uh, tab of the Flatsome Advanced section. And then I already have some CSS here. I will place it on top. And I will make sure it's been placed to the all screens because I also want to display this on my uh, mobile and desktop and uh, tablet. Uh, scrolling all the way down again, clicking the Save All Changes button. We're done with step two. Going to step three, and that's placing the HTML at your desired location. You can also try and play around placing this on different places, but now we will place it in our top bar. So click on Copy. Going back to your project, uh, we're going to open up the header builder. And you can do this by going on, clicking on Flatsome, but not really clicking, going hover, team options, and then clicking on header. And that will take you to the header builder. And if you haven't placed something in your top bar, just make sure to put the HTML. So here you can find the HTML one, drag that inside your top bar, and also make sure that your top bar is enabled. Uh, then just by clicking on the settings gear, that will take you immediately to the settings of the HTML1 element. And here you can see that there's already some text placed inside my HTML1 uh, um, element. I will take that away. But as you can see, if I just write in SAP, you can see it's nicely replaced. But I will replace this, of course, with the pieces of code that I have just copied here at step three. 
once I've done this, you don't really see anything. You will, you don't really see, you don't see anything. That has to do with the fact that this script isn't loaded inside these flatsome team options. But you need to publish, close it down, and then you can see that it should work. Let's go to the front end to our project. And as you can see, it's working nicely. You have the nice fade in, fade out effect. And last thing that I want to show you is how to add uh, multiple lines of, um, so let's say we want to add an extra line of text. It's very easy. You just need to go, I'm clicking on the settings gear again, making this box a little bit uh, more higher, increase it into in height. And I will just copy the paragraph again. So make sure you're having the opening brackets, the opening paragraph and the closing paragraph just copy this and then you can just add in uh, any kind of promotion that you want to add to your uh, text slider. So this is in short what needs to be done. I ho hope you really like it. We use this for a lot of our own projects. Uh, I think it's really cool. So thanks again, Bjorn. And thank you for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then you get updated on our uh, latest videos. And also make sure you have a look at our Flatsum template section where we are selling really neat designs for your Flatsum projects. Okay, guys. Thank you. And girls, have a nice day. Ciao.